Hi everyone, I'm Trish, and I like to tell you about a local restaurant called Perella. Now, Perella is a medium-sized restaurant of about 40 covers in the villagey neighborhood of Newington Green. It uses seasonal ingredients to create some unique dishes that feature traditional British and European style of cooking. The music colors of the interior, as well as the large windows, create a bright and cheery atmosphere of the restaurant. The service is just as easygoing and friendly, and the restaurant draws in both local residents and young urban customers who have come here to get away from the city buzz. The small menu features a la carte options and a 44 pound set menu. A set menu or tasting menu is actually quite a good way to sample a chef's style of cooking, especially if it's your first visit. Ben Marks is the head chef and co-founder of Perilla and here's him introducing some of the dishes. Let's start with the French white asparagus with Jersey Royal and watercress. Hi there, how are you? We have a uh, steamed white asparagus with uh, a Jersey Royal watercress uh, dip. So if you just want to pick them up with your fingers and just run them through the dip. Did you know that white asparagus are grown in the dark and that's why they lack photosynthesis that gives plants the green? The white asparagus are also graded by their stalk thickness, which means that the thicker the stalk, the more valuable and expensive the asparagus. And the ones we had at Perilla were by far the thickest we've ever had and therefore they were the best quality available in the market. I thought that these asparagus, which were cooked to a nice crunchy texture, took on the bittersweet watercress dipping sauce very well. Next, we had the burnt onion and cultured cream soup with roasted nuts. It is possibly one of Perilla's most photographed dishes. In fact, you can see a really nice photo of it on its website. So we've got a burnt onion soup here uh, with roasted walnuts, hazelnuts and uh, cultured cream. According to Ben, the used onion bowls or shells are disposed into its food waste bin and collected daily by Igor from Indie Ecology. Indie Ecology is a food sustainability um, supply chain that redistributes the vegetables and herbs grown in the compost derived from food waste collected from London restaurants. So we know this dish is part of a sustainable supply chain and it looks great on photos. But how good does it taste? Now the black charred bits of the onion produces kind of a sweet yet smoky flavor to the rich and buttery cultured cream. And the crushed hazelnuts add even more sweet and buttery flavor to each mouthful. Now I don't think it was seasoned with too much salt or pepper, which is great. In fact, it's better to let the natural flavors of ingredients come together without too much salt. But there's always a salt cellar on each table for people to add as much as they want to enhance the flavor of the dishes. Next, we had squid bolognese, which is basically minced squid served with agretti or salsola soda. We have the uh, squid bolognese um, folded around agretti. And this is Bataga here that we're growing over the top. It's, it's cured grey mullet roe. So Ben told us that this was inspired by a Korean dish that one of his friends cooked for him which had more Asian flavours on it. So he adapted that recipe into this version served with a gretti. The squid is minced and braised slowly in mussel stock and finished with a little butter and some chopped herb stems before folding in with the cooked agretti. You know what's really great about agretti? It grows into a bunch that's a perfect portion size of a light pasta dish. It even looks like green spaghetti. Agretti cooks fast in boiling water and the taste is quite similar to spinach, which goes well with the seafood and shellfish flavors. The last dish that I want to very quickly tell you guys about is the roast chicken dish. I must admit that I thought it was a roast dinner, but instead a bowl appeared with a heap of turnip peelings sitting on top of a piece of chicken thigh. So according to Ben, this dish is essentially a terrine of chicken thigh with skin and fat. The shaved turnips, lado and red wine sauce go on top. Now it sounds simple enough, but this dish clearly shows off Ben's knowledge in classical flavor combinations and techniques when creating this inspired dish. That's all for today. I want to thank Ben and Matt from Perilla and all you guys for watching. Please click the links below to find out more about Perilla and make sure to subscribe. If you have a tip for an independent restaurant in London that deserves to be better known, please tell us about it in the comment section and we'll try to do a video. Everyone stay awesome and see you later.